Hey guys, Zero Tech Skills here. Uh, today I have something new for you guys. As you all know, uh, my uh, previous videos, I am into knives and such. Uh, but before knives, I was into watches. Uh, watch is a little more expensive than uh, knives, so unfortunately I don't have as many. Um, I believe I have eight or nine watches right now. I used to have more, but I sold them off. Um, but these are the ones I kept. Um, I'm just going to show you what I have right now, and um, look for uh, future videos of um, these watches getting um, reviewed uh, individually. But for now, I'm just going to show you my little lot of watches. So, nice little carbon fiber box um, where, I, where I keep them in. So, here we go. Uh, first watch is my, let's see, my Hamilton X-Wind. Um, nice little watch, an automatic with an aftermarket uh, leather strap on it. My second watch here in this box is my Oris TT1 dive watch. Very solid watch. Great construction. Uh, my third watch, definitely one of my favorites because it's the most comfortable, is my Oris BC3 Plus, which is a slightly larger version than the BC3. Great little watch. Another watch I have here, a little uh, tactical watch. A little, uh, it's a black automatic watch um, by Tracer. It's um, it's the Classic Pro automatic. Um, it's with the blue tritium tubes, so it glows uh, glows blue at night. Thank God for tritium. Great little watch. Uh, Another little affordable watch is this um, Citizen Nighthawk. Um, this is the Asian version with the uh, etched backing there. Engraved, actually. Um, the U.S. versions have um, just the laser etching, which doesn't really... doesn't look so nice. Um... This is uh, just a regular Seiko dive watch. Nice little beater for the beach or whatever. Um, I believe the number on this is 173, I believe. I don't, I don't know, I forget. I'll do a review on this one later on, too. Um, here is my... Uh, let's see. This one is my, my Casio Frogman. Um, great little watch. Love it. I got a little Mudman too, but I just don't have it with me right now. It's probably in my locker at work. <laughs> but yeah, this is these are great Casios make great watches. Another watch I have here is the Luminox. They call it the Navy SEAL, even though I doubt any Navy SEALs use these watches. The uh, number on this is the uh, 3001, I think. It's the classic Luminox, I guess. Uh, it's got the green uh, tritium vials in it. Um, I got this uh, Meritek Zulu band for it. Really comfortable. A little beat up, but gets the job done. And finally, my watch for work, which is a little, uh, this one's a surprise actually because it's held up nicely in, uh, in Call of Duty. <laughs> um, this one's has taken a beating and it still keeps on ticking. I tell you what, this Timex is, um, really surprised me. I thought it would last maybe a month or two, but it's been going strong for a year. Um, I paid all the 20 bucks for this thing. So, it's the uh, Timex Expedition, I believe. But it's a great little watch. But anyway, I will be doing reviews on uh, these watches individually. 
as well as my knives um, and some other stuff in the future whatever guns and other gear backpacks but for now these are my watches um, thank you for looking and um, I hope to bring you more videos this is Zero Tech Skills and I'm out